Welcome to Eternal Rambles, where the Eternals ramble eternally. My name's Aaron. I'm Kodig. And I'm Ryan. And today we are talking about the Elder Scrolls series, specifically about 3 through 5. Considering the fact of our only knowledge on the first two games is purely academic, and even then it's like maybe a D rank. Uh, at, at best. Ryan's the only one who's actually played tomorrow win, so he's actually going to start Not us off. Not a whole no, yeah, but you've actually experienced the game. I, I haven't you played Oblivion, uh, Aaron? Well, yeah, but that's not Morrowind, now, is that's it? No, that's all I'm saying. So basically, the, the 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 basic plot is here that Ryan has played Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim. Aaron has played Oblivion and Skyrim, and I have started Oblivion and played Skyrim. He's dabbled. <laughs> to be perfectly clear, I started Morrowind. Got all the way to the part where it was supposed to introduce me to magic, in which case I didn't understand how magic worked, and then I stopped playing Morrowind. And that is the, uh, uh, you know, that's that's Elder Scrolls. That's Elder Scrolls right there, three and four. <laughs> that that that's that Elder would Scrolls. Be, <laughs> that would be Morrowind. For how a while. how does magic? Well, okay, uh, explain. Magic in, in in four was actually really easy. In three, for whatever reason, they wanted me to put on rings, and then they wouldn't let me put on the rings. Which made the whole thing kind of fall apart. That was weird. I think it's like in in Oblivion. I know the aspect of being able to craft your own spell with your own customized effect was it was it was interesting because it allowed you to get really creative in certain aspects. But also it was annoying um, because your casting times were pretty ridiculous, even for those spells that were supposed to be pretty fast like those uh instant cast touch spells yeah even then they were they still took way too long in my opinion of course ryan and i kind of differ in this regard ryan likes that in oblivion you could have a weapon equipped in your hand and then cast a spell with that same hand yeah because it's it's a simple matter to take my hand off my weapon cast a spell put my hand back on my weapon even though it's not that much more complicated than skyrim you just use your quick select it's pretty simple mm. And you deselect your weapon, cast your spell, and have to go back into your the stop fighting to go back into your menu. To oh, like like all those weapon. times that you have to stop fighting in Morrowind to do a bunch of random bullshit. Well, thing is though, in a in Skyrim, if it's your if your is it it's your if it is your offhand casting the spell, speak well, do I yes? Uh, then you don't have to worry about it because just. Like, for me, I play a warrior more often than not, so my left hand is usually filled with a weapon. Not with a weapon. A shield. So, quick select, spell, cast it, go back to the shield. No time is lost. It's only whenever you use your primary hand, uh, because apparently in Elder Scrolls, everyone is right-handed. <laughs> Which... Uh, well, I do like how in Skyrim you can actually, you know, change if you want to just, like, single... You can actually just wield one in your left hand. Yeah, if you want to. Now, I do. So you can offset that and actually my... have a weapon in your left hand and a magic in your right hand. Oh, except for your shield. Your shield has yeah, to always, shield go always in your left hand. In your... Yeah, which is stupid because you got people like me who are left handed. It's like, where's my representation? Where's my representation, Bethesda? <laughs> yeah, Did you just oh, assume God. Bethesda's gender? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that news story a while ago? It was a tweet or something. I don't know. I'm not going to get into it because I don't know all the details, but apparently some game development studio basically responded, did you just assume our gender to somebody? Because like <laughs> <laughs> they were complaining about something. That was pretty funny. That's beautiful. Anyway, uh, but magic is always kind of in a game. <laughs> what? See, this is why I don't like video games. They appeal to the male fantasy. <laughs> you wake to... up well rested. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to sleep for eight hours <laughs> would you like to purchase this home <laughs> for only five thousand dollars oh god would if you like would you like to get married <laughs> no the answer to that question is just give them no. gifts that's how you romance right uh magic in games can be a slippery slope on one hand when it comes to fighting, magic has to be a viable alternative to weaponry in a single-player game. In a multiplayer game, not necessarily, because there's always a chance of working together and supporting one another. But in a combat scenario, in my opinion, in Oblivion, you couldn't be just a mage. 
I will grant you that you had to be a mix of something. Because you had to be a spell sword. Because magic just, just didn't have, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it really wasn't viable. No. Um, in the time it took me to cast one spell, I could, spell, I could swing my sword like three freaking times and do, and do way more damage. Was there even any AoE spells? I'm not remembering any. I don't think so, no. So I you stopped get, using it so after you a could, certain so point you of time. So you get swarmed by a bunch of imps early game, and if you're just pure magic, you, you could do nothing. Well, I mean, I do like the whole balancing when it comes to early game versus oh, late game versus hold on, let me, let me when it comes that. to That's Elder Scrolls actually... in general. Like, even in Skyrim. So, like... My first playthrough of Skyrim, right? I mm-hmm. was a dual wielding warrior, mm-hmm. single handed warrior, obviously. Dual wielding single handed warrior with heavy armor, right? Dual wielding single handed warrior? What? I use a, I use single handed weapons. Use weapons. So that's what that, that's what yeah. that's what dual wielding. Yeah, is. yeah, exactly. Is yeah, sure. I was a dual wielding. Excuse me, in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, <laughs> I can dual wield two two handed axes, sir. That's because that game is trash. Well, in that You're instance, trash. you would say, Anyways. I dual-wielded two-handed axes. You don't say, I was dual-wielding one-handed weapons. Like, no, <laughs> if you say dual-wielding, that is the, in default. <laughs> no, so I dual-wielded axes. Never will you go up to somebody and be like, hey, I was dual-wielding. They'll be like, oh, what were you dual-wielding? Uh, a bow and arrow? <laughs> <laughs> like, so, yeah, no, I, was dual- I dual-wielded axes specifically in my mm-hmm. first playthrough of Skyrim. Now, the, 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 the playthrough that I platinumed Skyrim with mm. was a mage playthrough, which is very <laughs> uh, interesting considering my well, normal play styles. Because like, because when you say like, the playthrough I platinum Skyrim on is like you do primary, you did almost basically everything with one character, and then you get those other trophies with another character. Well, not necessarily because keep in mind most of my playthroughs of Skyrim are actually on the PlayStation Three, where it would fucking kill itself after like 30 levels well yeah but here's here's an example though like with the dark brotherhood quest line in skyrim you cannot get both trophies in one playthrough because in one you joined them the other one you killed them i've never so, killed the dark brotherhood oh i have i have multiple times specifically for role because pl- I, I don't think that what i'm saying is i don't think that's a trophy for killing them yeah, you, no there's a there's one trophy it is kill them or join them i guess one was another trophy I don't think so. You, I could be wrong because I don't think I've ever killed the Brotherhood. I have. Why would you kill the Brotherhood? They're jackasses. They're assassins. Because they I, because I like doing her, the quest line. That's they why. They murdered a woman on her wedding day. Why wouldn't you kill them? Oh, I found that. I found also, that mission kind of fun, actually. Also, they a corpse. No, that's the thing. Is like they murder a woman on her wedding day as a means to an end. She wasn't even the real target. Yeah, the emperor was. Yeah, like I like doing. I, I like doing the. Uh, okay, so here's something where we defer. I just also, like getting the most content. So I just like going going through all the quest lines. Like, because if you if you just murder them, well, it's you, just you hey, murder anything. the Brotherhood. It's not. It's not. No, there's a there's a whole thing because because you, you have to do you have to kill Red the Kind to meet Astrid, then you have to choose to kill her, get. You know that off, get off her, and then you get the then you get the quest. Tell inform somebody that you've killed the leader of the Dark Brotherhood. You go to Dragon's Bridge near Solitude to talk to the guy, who you actually you know like the, the uh, son of the captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, know you're you talking have to go about. to talk to him about it. And the use is like, it's like, and then you have the quest line of kill the Dark Brotherhood. And for me personally, it was an epic experience because, like I said, I was role playing, and the, I was role playing a character who's basically whose family. Uh, was killed by the Dark Brotherhood, and he survived, and so he had. So why would the why the fuck would he join them? <laughs> yeah, why would he join them? But also the fact that they've been hunting, they've been hunting him, hunting, f- they've been hunting him for years. So when he gets the chance to take them on, um, he okay. takes it. At, but at the time, though, I was in full Dichic armor, but I was over encumbered, so I was just walking, almost like trudging through the through the uh, the hideout finding them one at a time and it just gave me the aura of just like his seething rage as he just slowly murdered his way through this den of of murderers and i thought that was pretty epic so i'm not gonna lie whenever i first played through that mission right mm-hmm. i thought astrid was uh, an essential npc 
<laughs> for like the first couple of playthroughs, I didn't even know that it was a possibility her? to kill her. <laughs> so I always just defaulted to joining the Brotherhood. Yeah, so no matter what, uh, Astrid dies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and by the way, uh, back at first I was like, how do I romance Astrid? And Astrid's kind of hot. She's <laughs> married. Yeah, dude, that don't mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's an RPG. You hurt, hurt yourself. You hurt yourself here f- uh, first, folks. Cody is an adulterer. Back to Oblivion for a second. It turns out that you can AOE with magic in, in Oblivion. Mm. It's just all of the viable ones are way the fuck down the down the spell tree. Mm. Which requires you to be like a master sorcerer, which I never got bothered with. Unlike in Skyrim from like adept onward and destruction all of them are AOE. <laughs> Which is really fucking annoying when you have a companion, a follower with you, and then you have a temporary NPC or vice versa who uses uh, adept level magic with AOE. So they attack an enemy, and then they hit one of the, f- and then one of your followers hits each other, and then they start going at it one another, trying to murder each other in the middle of a dungeon. You're like, I gotta reset. It's even worse whenever you're sitting there and you are the mage and you're trying not to, <laughs> to kill your companion, your follower. but your only viable form of, of offensive magic is an is AOE. is AOE. Like literally, flame shot is my go-to spell. It's just you, the or flame shot, not There's flame no shot. Flame There's flame fire shot. bolt, There's which fire is the bolt. apprentice, and then fire ball, which is the adept, which is the AOE. Fireball, and then that is my go-to. Inc- so it's just incinerate so is the is the expert. is the expert, and then it's firestorm, firestorm. is fireball, which is my go-to. by the way, bullshit that the ice and the fire spell, the master spells, are basically the exact same spell. And then you got lightning, which is which just, is just the command. <laughs> I should you not. I I, I would. Excuse you, sir. It's the Kamehameha. I that shit actually, you not. I apparently, used to that just... actually is a distinctive difference. Is it's the Kamehameha. If you say Kamehameha, that's the Hawaiian king. It's spelled the exact same way, but the pronunciation is different because Japanese. Ah, who cares? But yeah, a, a lot, a, a a lot of people lot do of people. actually. Yeah, that is fucking thing I will weird. Say. <laughs> <laughs> Is once you got into the higher tiers, you had other options than just one spell for a, a for adept mages. There's one adept spell for destruction. There's one ad- expert spell for adept destruction. There's one spell for this level. There was usually multiple spells you could actually um, play around with. See, but here's my thing. I just think Skyrim had a much better system in general. Like, Skyrim overall. has a much better system in general. I just wish they imported the magic system from Oblivion into it. Here's the thing, though. I, uh, I think Oblivion had way better non-combat spells. Like, you had the charm spells. So you could go up to store owners and be like, Boo, you like me give now. me all of your things for <laughs> give free. Give me all of your stuff, <laughs> please. Whereas in uh, uh, Skyrim, you don't have that. Alteration is, you know, mucky if kind of not usable considering the master spell of alteration is an armor spell that's not even an armor spell yeah it just reduces it'll strip reduce your armor to zero but you ignore 80 percent of all damage because that's the weird thing does it matter because i'm still taking the full brunt of 20 percent of that damage which is still enough to me over yeah because armor spells like like wood skin uh, uh sorry oak skin stone skin ebony skin these are it raises your armor rating, but it really only works if you're not wearing armor. And then you have the master spell, which is like, oh, it just it just it just ignores a percentage of damage. But I'm not wearing any armor, and I'm really and late into the game, so I'm still taking a fuckload of damage. So if you use the master you, alteration spell, you need to be using an that's armor. That's my thing. That's Actually, why no. I played a no, destruction. No, no, no. That's 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 the worst part about that. I played destruction even if you with are wearing armor. To add armor. I've actually, I never use, I never use mage armor in any of my mage builds. I just, I just fucking dodge. <laughs> dodge and then uh, healing, just healing. Yeah, fast healing specifically. I use restoration in basically every single character because who the fuck doesn't want to heal themselves? Yeah, fast who doesn't healing want to be able to heal themselves? is my preferred because you forty. Well, it's close ones. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Well, that's also that's also the other weird thing. After adept in restoration, there is no just heal spell like because you have because you have healing which is the basic one and then you have fast healing apprentice and then you have closed wounds which is adept and then after that there's no heal because closed wounds is all you need 
yeah, realistically, but it's weird that uh, after that, it's just, oh, warding of whatever it's called, where it's just, you stand inside of it, and it's a passive healing in for, for you, and also it makes undead under a certain level run away, run and, away just... and it's like, also, by the way, that's the most annoying effect for illusion or restoration. Don't make my enemy run from me. I don't want to chase after a fucking enemy through a dungeon. Be like, get over here! Alerting every other enemy along the way. Yeah, that yeah. was really I never understood the annoying. whole fear. Illusion, in my opinion, is the weakest branch. Because rage, Absolutely. courage. The only thing I ever, 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 ever use illusion for is invisibility. And only on my rogues. Actually, illusion is one of the more powerful if you know the two spells that are absolutely viable making it work um there's one that makes everyone batshit insane and one that turns you invisible so you make all of your enemies batshit insane and then you stealth and you just sit there and you let them kill each other wow how amazingly boring boring thing in the world how fucking boring it is it is the most boring thing to ever do ever not to mention I've tried it not to it mention works. have you fucking seen two npcs try to kill each other it takes fucking forever yep it's just, it's completely asinine i hate it and then you know you have conjuration which i'm actually kind of disappointed by the limited variety the variation on summons because yeah, you your fire it's... elemental your ice elemental your storm elemental and then you're familiar, which is always a wolf. Yeah, it's, it's, it's legitimately, it has the same problem that um, I would destruction have loved, magic has. I would have loved There's if, only one summon for every level, and that's it. I would have loved if, at very least, the familiars were different, depending on your race. Right? That'd be interesting. That'd be dope. Hey, um, just, there you go. Then you say that again. Dope. Why are you saying that so much today? I don't know. It's just become part of my vocabulary, and I don't know where it came from. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just it's just appeared there. in your vernacular. It's yeah. just now part of my vernacular. Deal with it. Mm. Like I have. Because like also like the mastery one is literally just it's not your elemental your summon is immortal. It's and it's not it's a permanent. It's just it's a, it's gonna be around for a very several many hours. So it might as well be around forever, unless you gets fucking killed. In which case, you have to summon it again. Again. And the master oh, and summoning takes can... forever. Oh, and now you get summon too. That's actually expert. You can do that in expert. It's not required yeah. for master, I don't think. I don't think it is. I, I, could, it is. I could be Might incorrect. Be. I think maybe you have to have like 90 in it or something like that. Okay, let's go on a uh, let's go on a little uh, mission basis right here. Let's go through the primary missions, right? Let's start it off from the beginning, the main storyline. It's actually funny. Uh, Ryan had not completed the main story of Skyrim until years after he'd started playing Skyrim. He was he spent he spent the night at my house whenever we were still in high school, I think. And he wakes up a lot earlier than I do, or at least he used to. Our, 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 I, our, I sleep, our, our sleep schedules have changed a lot over the years, but like Ryan used to wake up at like six AM every day. Uh weird like that. And I didn't ever wake up at six AM <laughs> if I could help it. Now I was awake until six AM <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, so he's over at my house, uh, and I was asleep, and I, yes, of course he was. and I told him how to turn on my TV, my console, and everything, and it, uh, he was there, and he was like, well, I'm, I guess I'll just do the main story of Skyrim. So he finished Skyrim, the main story, for the first time ever while I was asleep. <laughs> it, yeah, wasn't, it wasn't even on his. Yeah, it, you're lucky if you could get Aaron to wake up at, like, noon. So I was bored, and I had nothing to do. So I was like, eh, I haven't beat Skyrim. Oh, God, I miss those days. You know, back when we were kids, the only thing we had to worry about was going to school during the week. Mm. Uh, anyways, the main story of Skyrim, like personal opinions, quest lines, how you feel. How do you like it? The Greybeards, in my opinion, like that whole, well, like, climbing the throat of the world is fun. It's interesting, especially whenever I had that mini boss, essentially, where you come across that frost troll at the top. And oftentimes get murdered. <laughs> I like. Yeah, playing through I that with a mage was fun. Of the plaques. No fucking armor at all. Because I was like, I'm How gonna if I'm gonna fight? go into mage, I'm gonna go fucking dead. I'm not gonna use any armor. I'm gonna I'm gonna go robes all the way through. At the thing is, I would like with the mage. I always liked to wear like the gauntlets at least because most because like the only gloves in the game were just like those like basic like ruddy like worker gloves and i'm like those aren't cool I don't no know. i just those, like those the gloves. gloves i think they look good i think they look neat 
but they're not mage gloves. They're though. not they're mage gloves. I just gloves. like they're wearing the gloves. gloves. They're gloves. They're they're not mage gloves. If I'm gonna be a mage, I'm gonna wear mage gloves. And by they're the not way, gonna give me mage gloves. I'm not gonna wear gloves. I I know all of you know this. Uh, oh, you get the PC version of the mods. We're not including mods. We're not talking about mods because those don't matter when it comes to the base of a game because that's something that fans do or anyone can do. You can literally go into a game and fundamentally crack it and change it into something else. Okay, Skyrim is a single player game. There is a mod that makes it multiplayer. Okay, we're not talking. Cra- we're not it, it, talking it's about buggy. mods. It, 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 it falters it's and crashes and it's kind of eh. And the quest triggers are kind of it's annoying, hit or miss, but, uh, but it so, exists. And then so you go in and you meet the graybeards, and their interaction it's like it's like master. The new master will teach you his understanding of role. Whoa! Am I doing it? Am I learning <laughs> it? Am I doing, doing it? Just it? like like moving around trying to get the <laughs> yeah. game. To it's like it's like am I doing it? Is it right? I'm staring at the thing. And the weird thing is, it's totally unnecessary because he just does that weird like. <sighs> Yeah, so why doesn't or that to you just anyway. give you the, the word? Why, why does he need to spell the word out on the floor? It's like, you just stand there. It's like, it's like uh, understand, learn, roll. It's like, you're going to stand there like the dragon more just staring at the ground. And all the graybeards are like, one of leans over is like, do, do you think they learned it yet? <laughs> just stand there staring at the floor. It's like, mm, yes, comprehension. I understand these mockings in the ground now. Truly, I am a tongue of ancients. Roll. Roll. <laughs> <laughs> yes, also, can roll. We, it, uh, roll. Also, can it, we talk about their psychic ability to just sort of know when you've learned the word? Also, their ability to just ch- freaking just slap their hand on your forehead and just transfer knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> Lure! <laughs> which my teacher had, that, had teachers had that ability. That made which school is so much which easier. is a question I have. Is that just an innate ability that the graybeards have, or is that just because you're dragonborn and your innate I think knowledge it's of the something you have? Because when they when they talk about it, they talk about how anger will now allow you to tap into his understanding of the word, which suggests that all dra- gra- gra- dragonborn I all got dragonians. Uh, all dragonborn can kind of siphon off knowledge of the old tongue from anyone, not just dragons. Which is horrifying. Which is horrifying. Which I think it's kind of funny whenever you think about it, because like most of the other guys, uh, most of the people who, like like uh, Ulfric, for example, mm-hmm. who who knows, he knows who's who, who, Yeah, he knows Fusorda and the Greyboard. Greyboards. The Greyboards. <laughs> yeah, the Greyboards. <laughs> the Greybeards clearly we the, know. Yeah, the Greyboards. A lot of other things, but like, where's where where where's my where's my fire breathing, fellers? Where's? Oh, that's uh, I actually I I know that for exact reason because people who aren't the Dragonborn had to spend years studying the Dragon language. You have to you, you have to understand every single words. aspect of it. You have to understand all of it. So learning a single shout for a normal human takes. Years. years and honestly i think all freaking ulfric cared about was oh i can shout knowing one shout is enough street cred for nords to follow me i don't need to know a bunch of shouts i could but i don't care because i just care about the status and the power of the basic okay. thing that leads us because into the ulfric point. is an asshole that leads us into the second point the civil war uh imperials Imperials. Anyone who says anyone who says anyone who says stormcloaks either a hasn't read deep enough into into the lore of the Elder Scrolls and Skyrim to understand exactly what's going on there, or b are a bunch of neckbeards need to be shot. Because if you look, that's at, coming. That's coming straight from the OG neckbeard himself. I think it's funny though. Like if if you if you you have a f- bro. <laughs> we all have neckbeards. <laughs> I mean, I, I haven't changed. You play lot. WoW on a daily basis, you fucking <laughs> scrub. <laughs> anyway, um, like I think it's like if you, if, you, if you if you look at if you look at the if you look at the senile scribbles. Anyone who haven't, anyone who likes Skyrim but hasn't seen the uh, the senile scribbles, I highly recommend you do. It's it's hilarious. The, they're they're great. They're great. Seriously, it's like what are you doing? He's like, it's like all right. So let me hear your points of view, and that'll help determine which faction I use. Okay. Uh. Freedom of religion. Yes. No. N- no. Okay. Uh, equal rights for all races. Yes. D- define equal. <laughs> like, Ulfric? 
By the way, that is the single most game-breaking, most bullshit, most no way in actual game lore would this work. Ulfric would not let a fucking Dark Elf or Argonian ever join the Stormcloaks. Ever. He is the filthiest, Ex nastiest especially racist. Especially not a High Elf. Ex and compared, only compared to the Thalmor, is he is he less is he taller is he tolerant, and that's a pretty low bar. Now of the course, the Thalmor are the Thalmor. and even My... then you have the whole thing of like oh uh, this is this is the group that I I will routinely stop whatever I'm doing and go in a complete th um, 180 in the wrong direction to slaughter like. Three now, of course, because my first cultists. playthrough and most of my playthroughs, I actually go with the Stormcloaks. But I even just... in my very first run, I went with the Imperials. Nah, I went with the Stormcloaks, yeah. maybe, and I still go with the Stormcloaks. Maybe it's just maybe it's just me, and I'm I'm always, I'm kind of I'm the the rules guy. I'm always the guy who's like, all right, there has to be you have to follow the rules. You have to do the right thing. You have to be. I'm always a fan of a joining good... the resistances. Doesn't really matter what it is. <laughs> You're an uh... idiot. We resist clean water. Yeah, fuck <laughs> processing. I'm talking nature. about it in video games. <laughs> you said anyway, whatever. Um, no, I just well for one, my first playthrough, I was like, man, this bitch tried chopping my head off, man, fucking, fucking bitch. Actually, it's funny. His uh, the the execution of you again, reading into the lore, the execution of you and that horse thief, even though they very clearly know that you are not Stormcloaks. This, the reason why you were being executed there, despite your complete non-affiliation Ulfric, is because in that raid, they knew Ulfric was going to be there. So Tullius made ex made the, the mandate, um, everyone we capture. Everyone we capture dies. There will be no exceptions. I will give no chances for anyone to get out. I will give no chances for the Stormcloaks to get word that of who we have, I will not leave any in, in any way to form any way for any because it was one, sort of it's sort one of those things. Back. It's one of those things. Is Ulfric had a following of people who were devoted to him. Yeah, to, and were to, everywhere. So to kill that devotion, there was absolutely no chance. You couldn't allow anyone because anyone who was near Ulfric potentially could have rallied in the martyr. So he had to kill everyone oh. that was there, and then basically, I don't know if, uh, he probably, he maybe would have publicly announced his, his death and execution. Not necessarily right. It wouldn't really matter either way, because Galmar would have just taken over. Um, well, yeah, yeah, but, he, yeah, but Galmar's an idiot. Um, yeah, no, problem... he, Galmar took over, Stormcloaks would have been dead in a month. Yeah. Um, like, Ulfric is an actual serious tactician who was actually skilled at what he, yeah. at what he did. Ulfric is an asshole, but he, but knows, but he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing when it comes to war and conflict. Uh, there's a the thing there going on there. You might want to go look at that. But um, it wasn't just about rallying him as a martyr. It was about ensuring that the Stormcloaks had no way of knowing what was happening until it was done. The Stormcloaks couldn't ride Helgen and get Ulfric back because they didn't know Ulfric was taken. They had no idea that anything had gone down. Mm. That's why it doesn't matter what whatever your race is, you are put on the chopping block. Um, now, granted, that captain was uh, a, a little it. too fucking eager to just... Next, the cat! Next, the Nord and the Rags! Next, the elf! Next, the lizard! Wow. Yes, because the the high elf is 100% going to rally behind Ulfric oh, so Storm. You just, you just want to see the Thalmor, like, just twitching their <laughs> eyebrows at during the execution? Because they know they can't say anything. They can't stop this. Yeah, and they were trying to find some way to stop it, too. Yeah, because they wanted Ulfric to learn. That's the thing. The Thalmor had Ulfric years ago, figured out they could toy with him, and then let him go. And you know how you find out about this? He's in the Thalmor embassy. This is an asset. In the chests, there's a chest you can go into, and they and they have documentation. They have books on different people, one of which is Ulfric, where they basically explain, we're going to use Ulfric to... Uh, to destroy the Empire. Yeah, we're going to use it to weaken Skyrim. That's why whenever, if you join the Stormcloaks, and you fight, and you storm Cyrodiil, and you kill Tullius, Tullius says, you realize they wanted this, right? The High Elves? This is what they wanted. You are killing... Joke's on you! I am a High Elf, bitch! <laughs> what? Well, uh, well, the thing is, uh, for yeah. those of you who don't know, the High Elves are basically fucking... The Thalmor, I should say, not necessarily the High Elves. Thalmor. The Thalmor High are Elves fucking, are still kind of arrogant shit. They're fucking the insane. Thalmor because they believe that once upon a time, they were gods. They were Adra. 
and that, then that, that's actually the general faith of all of all elves. All elves. But the Thalmor are like the Thalmor took the, to do extreme, the, and the Thalmor are hell bent on bringing it back. And they think that if they end the world, they will ascend. Which is funny whenever you think of the fate of the snow elves. Mm. What are you talking about? There's still like two. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> well, you killed one of them, so yeah, there is one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So anyway. So uh, uh yeah, so so Imperials, because here's the thing. Oh, I like they, living. They, they crack they crack down. Oh, they don't let you express your freedom. Go to literally every Everywhere. single main city in Skyrim. There is a Talos statue, and the Imperials don't give a fuck. The only place there isn't in a Talos statue is in the Temple of the Eight. Because in, they could say nine. In solitude. But you'll notice the alcove's still there. Oh. Literally, if the Imper- the, high, the High Elves would go, Hey, there are Nords worshipping Talos. And the Imperials go, oh, How? Just, 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 how, how dare, how dare they? How, how dare they do that? Oh, you know what? Nord, Nord, you filthy Nord, you filthy, how, how, how dare you? How, 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 how dare bah. you? Bah. <laughs> Straight up, Tully's second in command. Um, she's when, a firm believer. She's a firm believer in Talos. And when you execute Ulfric, she she says, says a prayer to Talos. Talos guides you. And the only thing you hear out of Tullius, who's right there, is you say something. I'm sorry. What? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. You say something. I was. I I, did, I, 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 I didn't quite hear that. What? It's like oh, nothing, <laughs> Commander. Nothing at all. Ah, cool. No. <laughs> the kind of... Empire literally could not care about your the only people who have a hard on about that is the Falmor, and only because they believe the only way to end the world is to make Talos worship um not a thing. Well, it's because they can't stand the idea that a also, man they cannot stand the idea that a human managed to ascend and they didn't. So yeah. So if you want to blame anybody, f- blame the fucking Falmor. Yeah, do it's not do, their don't fault. it's not the Empire's fault. It's not no, it's, it's not it's the, the it's not the everyday Nord or Stormcloak's fault. They are being misled and lied to by their leader, which is why if there was an option to kill Ulfric and take over the Stormcloaks, I still wouldn't do it. I would still, I would kill Ulfric. I mean, I would kill Ulfric. I would kill Ulfric. Fun, but I still wouldn't. I still wouldn't lead a rebellion against the Empire. No 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 no, 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 no. You I lead a rebellion kill, against the Thalmor. I would kill Ulfric. Make peace talks with the Empire. Hunt Thalmor? And then hunt the Thalmor. I mean, I'm down with that. I know I know it's, it's Thalmor and then Falmer, but, like, I just the Thalmor and whatever. I don't fucking care enough to t- to say their name I correctly. I hate them all. I kill them whenever I see okay, them. Okay, so uh, let's go with the next quest line of vampires. I love it. Uh, so, so it's jumping to the DLC. I no, just we, we, we haven't like going actually on this finished one next. The, main, the main quest line. Oh, the main quest line's pretty... You kill Alduin. There you well, go. there's a there's you go to Solving Guard. Here, here, there's a question though. It's like, uh, do you kill Parthenax? Yes or no? And, and Ryan no. said he's they've never done it. I have killed Parthenax for role playing reasons, like I've said. Um, but do you, do I necessarily feel bad about that decision to kill Parthenax in that one timeline? No, for a couple of reasons. Number one, Parthenax is in fact a war, a war criminal. criminal. A very heinous war criminal. He was Alduin's number two dude, or at least, like, really high-ranking. Well, he's his brother. Uh, well, they're all related. They're all related. Yeah, they're, they're, all, they're, all they're all the children of Akatosh. Of I know. Akatosh. They're all fragments of his power. Two. From that time when men, or was it the elves, someone didn't like the fact that the other people, the other race, had a god that was the same god as their gods. They tried to divide their gods into two. And it sort of made Akatosh lose his mind for a bit. Yeah. Two. It was fun. Parthenax himself, when you tell him the blades want me to kill you, he says, yeah, that's probably a good idea. I have to fight and meditate every single day to reject my destructive, inherent impulses that are bound to my being. So one day, this dude's going to fucking snap. And the first people who are going to die are going to be the Greybeards. And then he's going to do a rampage of Skyrim and how many places are going to burn before that stops. Because Parthenax is almost as powerful as Alduin is. So, 
yeah, in that one timeline, I in fact killed him, and I don't feel guilty. And I don't necessarily feel guilty for that. Do I think he needed to die then and there? Do I think the Blades were kind of being a bit of bitches? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, no. They were being a little bit of Not a little bit. They were just being bitches. Well, to be fair, they literally, this was like, they were all that was left after the Thalmer literally hunted them to near extinction because they were the private guard of the Emperor who sacrificed himself to defeat a threat that they couldn't defeat. Yeah. Yep. Which they then took credit for, by the way. Pissy, 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 pissy. Uh, yeah, by the way, that's another thing. The Thalmor took credit for ending the Oblivion Crisis. Of course they did. In the Shimmering Isles, they genuinely believe the Thalmor solved the Oblivion Crisis. I actually think it's funny, because if you look at, uh, like, you were discussing how mods can really change a fucking the core of a game. Mm. There's an actual mod fucking massive that's the entire somerset isles mm. it's literally just the it, it's 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 i know there's a group of modders working on putting uh cyrodiil in Skyrim. yeah putting cyrodiil yeah. there's a there's a lot of modders working on putting fucking the entire country mm. into or the entire what i really want is continent hammer, hammer fell I want to go to Hammerfell. I want to join that little rebellion. I want to, I want to go off. to the Black Marsh. I want to go to the place where the Daedra tried to invade, and the the the, the natives were like, "Fuck you!" Oh. and then invaded them back. Yeah. <laughs> let me just let me just asses. invade the invaders. Yeah, they just. You're going yeah, for those of, for those of you who don't know, when the Oblivion Crisis started and the portals opened up, the Argonians flooded the portals in mass to rebel and fight against them to the point of the Daedra had to close their portals to stop them from flooding in. Because <laughs> they were just that bad ass. Well, because the Nords, the Argonians, and the Dark Elves years ago were fighting one another and then invaders from across the sea came to kill them so they rallied together and fucking pushed them back within a matter of months. Had yeah. like had them running yeah. and fleeing and screaming for their lives. Yeah. Uh, it's actually interesting. It's uh, the Ebonheart Pact, I think yeah. it was the name of their alliance. Yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was really cool. I love it. Which, by the way, how much of an asshole do you have to be to think that Dark Elves and Argonians are lesser beings when your own history is painted with the blood, sweat, and tears of each other leaning on one another to, rebe to reject and fight back. And all of you, all of you have the belief we are not lesser. We will not be bound. We will not break. We will never give up. How could you have that belief that these are lesser creatures when all of you have a rich history together of working together to reject the notion that we are less? Which uh, it, actually it makes it kind of funny considering my cunt. first playthrough was an Argonian. <laughs> <laughs> I went with the Stormcloaks. That was the Mad Dragon. Yeah, Mad, Mad Dragon did an Argonian who went with the Stormcloaks. So he always goes with the Stormcloaks because he's a fucking idiot. He's an idiot. No, I... no offense, Mad Dragon. Really, I, do, I, I, I don't want to offend you. I do. But such your feelings. You know it to be true. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. Here's my thing. I go with, depending on what character I'm playing at that time. I, I've only ever, ever done the strong the problem is that I, I can't and it was play just to experience it i can't play intelligent character i dumb character save my life you can't play an intelligent character yes you are correct <laughs> no no, no, no. <laughs> i can't play a dumb character save my life and i you have to be it's easy because he has to compensate for himself in real life it, I, you'd have to the be lack of intelligence genuinely <laughs> retarded during um the storm cloaks the level of dumb you have to have no things on the surface i could totally see why people would join the cause it's just it's, if you if you look deeper than here's that, you'll where the a lot issue of comes into play, right? Mm. I firmly believe that there is quite a few. Like, let's go from a dragonborn from the dragonborn's perspective, right? You join the stormcloaks because of the shit that happened with the imperials, right? Yep. You join you join the stormcloaks. You start getting in. You start f facing off against the imperials, and you start getting behind the scenes knowledge of what's going on in the stormcloaks and realizing what's going on. Why can't I then switch over to the? Imperials? Yeah, there's no ability. There's no. You there's, can actually. There's an option to to switch allegiances. When you get the jagged crown, you can give that jagged crown to the opposite. See, faction. but that's too soon, though. That's the first soon. mission. But I know what you're talking about. That you can give it to the Imperials. You can change. Because um, that's the first mission you go on. Now that's um, that's that's after, one of my after issues. You, uh, gain the uniform. Yeah. Like, why can't I? Like, say say I'm in the middle of the civil war and I do the mission to invade the Thalmor embassy, right? 
and I realize what's going on with Ulfric. And I and I start I start catching hold of the fact that Ulfric just wants to take over Skyrim, right? Why can I not then switch to the Imperials? I, I hey, go up to the Imperials, be like, hey, I have deep insider knowledge of what's going on with the Stormcloaks. I know where Ulfric's going to attack White Run. Here's how I know. Here's all yeah. of the information. The fact that, the fact Here's that how Ulfric the attack's gonna go down. Wants to fucking invade White Run? Are you shooting me? Jarl Bulgriff is neutral. He's in the center trading hub of Skyrim and freely trades with both of them because he realizes that this civil war is stupid and he cares more about the people of Skyrim than he does anything else. Than anything else. Which so is why I think it's so fucking reason. funny where it's when you walk up to him and be like, I need your help capturing a dragon. Honestly, in my opinion, like in, in, in I don't know if this was as a response or this something else. In the Dongar DLC, three times you have the option of becoming a vampire. They give you that option yeah. three times. Why not in the main storyline of the, of the Civil War, which is supposed to be a deep, murky, political, belief-driven thing? Can you have three, three opportunities to, to change, change sides? sides? Once with the Jagged Crown, once with the decision to invade White, White Run, Run, and then maybe another decision like at make, the end. Like make another story. Make another story. Like if you decide to uh, like instead of at the end, whenever you're going to kill Tolius or Ulfric, switching and killing the other one. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. that that those would be three perfectly good opportunities for to switching have that sides. Kind of realization at the end. Yeah, that. It's that like you're at the end. Sense. You're about to kill General Tolius, and then he he goes into a spiel of like this is what they wanted, and you're finally just like. Oh shit! I'm just You're right. Just, just just pull just pull a cat nest with the Hunger Games. Yeah, exactly. Just fucking just fucking smear the wall with Ulfric. Yeah, because Ulfric's a cut. Can stop you. You can do shit. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Fusor on me, bitch? I'll do it right back. I just wanted to see that whole thing. It was just like Ulfric just do Fusor on you, and then you do it back, and you're just like fucking go punches through his shout, and then also. <laughs> Yeah, that would be nice to see. No, he, he never learned anything be, b besides the basic foos, right? So, like, he does foos, and you go, foos, roll, da! And you send him hurling wow! into space. Like, yeah, All I'm right. a bigger guy. So, companions, Mage's College, Dark Brotherhood, Thieves Guild. Serana. Well, we're not talking about DLC. Serana. Not yet. Um, we'll talk about DLC another time. Are there any other... Major. Let's go with the uh, the companions. Well, I was thinking, which out of those, which is your which are your favorites? Mine's the companions. Oh yeah, companions. mine's also the companions. Mm. Honestly, you just you don't really get the the major's college doesn't have. A Plus, whole being lot a vampire can attest can attest personally being a vampire. I can personally attest be, to being a vampire. I can personally it, in Skyrim, in Skyrim, <laughs> in Skyrim, fucking sucks. Yeah, being a vampire sucks. Like ass. people, people would tell me, be like, "Man, you should be a vampire. You get like all these buffs and stuff." And I'm like, "But in the day, I can't heal." And then, like, and also, if, if you the don't hungrier, feed, the yeah. hungrier you get, the more powerful your abilities become. Should not be the opposite. The more yeah, you, you feed, the more you powerful should, you, you get. Yeah, but the then the and but then the more fucking nightmares you become, and the more people are going to attack you for no reason. It's yeah, like, that makes it's sense. like being a vampire fucking sucks. At least being a werewolf, I can like. You only you only have to worry about it if you transform. The only ish, the only downside to being a werewolf is you can no longer get the well rested bonus. But I don't fucking sleep in Skyrim, so I don't care. Who sleeps in Skyrim? I mean, come on. Exactly. So like, I always be a werewolf. If I if 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 I'm to pick between a vampire and a werewolf, I always choose werewolf, and or I just don't pick one either. And then I try I try my best every time I play to. Cure Serana, yeah, of human. her vampirism, mm -hmm. which might I say is fucking hard. I actually never finished the vampire side of uh, the Dungard DLC. Never actually finished. It. I started it, I've never finished it. It, it, I, it, nah. <laughs> you have to kill Serana. I'm not down. I'm not down for that. <gasps> no, you don't. No. You don't. No, you don't. Holy shit! Great, awesome. I completed the vampire side. I didn't have to kill Serana. No, you can. You can. You go through the entire vampire side. He gives you the option. Says, "Hey, go kill Serana," and then you get the option to either kill Serana or kill him. So obviously, anyone with a fucking brain is gonna kill him instead of Serana. Yeah. It's like I already evil. have your vampire powers, bitch. I don't need you anymore. Yeah, fuck you. Die. Especially since you can get the fucking arrows anyway. You don't have to kill her to get it. Exactly. Yeah, you just ask very nicely. 
Now it's a fun. It's a like going through the vampire side of the storyline is fun as hell. Mm. I I've actually I've done both sides of the playthrough, both playthroughs. I I've never I have to say playthrough wise, my favorite side is definitely going on the vampire side, but I always end up just curing myself afterwards. Um. So here's why I've never done vampires. He calls you prey. That irks me. He calls you prey at the beginning. He calls you prey in the beginning. He refers to you. He, he thinks of you as nothing more than prey. That kind you of are. irks me, and I didn't then go through the rest of the Excuse mission you, hunting sir. him down and all of his people and casually slaughtering them because it's easy as fuck. He's like, it's like, oh, yes, prey. I am a Excuse dragon. You, sir. I am the dragonborn. I don't care what you think you, you are. are. I am a dragon. You wish to bring upon the apocalypse to end the world of man? I fought and killed a being who thought he could do the same. Say. I fought and killed a being ten times more powerful Way than more you. Powerful I than have you. fought God. Have you ever I fought have. a fucking dragon? I have. I've killed several. I've have killed you several. ever fought the, the, the direct son of Akatosh? It's like, I it's like, think... No, it's like, pray, leave now, while I allow it. For you sure. Oh, shit! I am leaving because I have allowed it. I have decided that killing you today is inconvenient, and I have other like, things I can I'm do sorry. with my time. It's like, do you, do you feel the weight of the presence of my soul? Do you see It's like when you go to Sovngarde, and it's just sitting here like, what makes you worthy? Well, I don't know. Dragonborn, head of Thieves Guild, Dark Brotherhood, companion, right. <laughs> master, ma- master mage of the the fucking mage oh. guild. Fucking. It's like, I'm sorry. You think you can pierce this Daedric, legendary Daedric, Daedric armor, armor I'm enchanted with? Do you really think you could come close? to defeating me and even if you start to feed off me and i catch your little if i just catch your little disease i could either a pray to any of the gods to get it better b go to a simple fucking alchemy shop and get and get a flow shot or c i could just be a fucking werewolf and fucking ignore that because the only way you're gonna turn me otherwise is to bite me and you ain't getting through this armor bitch (laughs) <laughs> or or even better it's just like it's like bitch i have an armor made entirely of the bones of dead dragons that i killed myself See, this would be or, or another or another option just use that fucking intangibility shout and just put your fist through his head so you re so you come back into <laughs> do the you know how i got shatters. this daedric armor yeah. With Daedric hearts. Do you know how I got those Daedric hearts? By slaughtering. I slaughtered Daedric at, until at I least found a heart that was a ta- that was four. Four of them. No, that's just for armor, though. It's not even because that's in your no, weapons. It's weapons. Yeah. It's just for the ar- I slaughtered Six Daedra. Technically, realistically, if you're thinking about it, it'd be because it's like two it'd helmet, chest piece, one for each gauntlet, one for each boot, greaves. Like technically, yeah. it would be a number of, but still. It'd be, it'd be a good sized sack full. Now the companion. By the way, quest, quick, always... quick, quick side note: I love the I love the ebony armor. I love the ebony weapons, except for the swords. Fuck the swords and the dagger. The ebony wet, the ebony swords look fucking stupid. Yes. I... Why are they problem. fucking weirdly turned and like almost tentacle looking? What the fuck? So the entire ebony set is this nice renowned renowned, renowned armor. knight armor. You look like a badass knight in this game. I think gear. that's kind of funny because I fucking love the ebony sword. Except the swords that look like hent- hentai tentacle weaponry. I think so because I love I love the ebony because it works with so many different armors. Like whenever I go when I join the Thieves Guild and become a nightingale, I use ebony weapons because it just fits perfectly with the aesthetic of the nightingale armor. Except for the swords. Except for the swords. Well, to be fair, like the nightingale bow and the nightingale blade. I like them. They're really cool looking. Their enchantments aren't that good. <laughs> They're enchanted. Together. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Nightingale Blade's the ability to, to siphon off health and stamina. That's great. That's great. The Nightingale Bow's garbage. <laughs> Bow's shit. Makes me sad. But the sword's nice. Makes me sad. Uh, so Companion's definitely my favorite. After that, uh, I'd probably Honestly, say... Honestly, Ayla's hotter than everyone, and no one else has actual personality. I wouldn't say that. That's oh, a, like, pretty companions good. Companions are the only ones who have personality. Oh, I thought you meant. I thought you're saying nobody else in the companions have personality. I was like, that's not true. Um, 
I like the Thieves Guild mostly just because of Carlia and the Nightingale asset. If it wasn't for the Nightingale quest, I really wouldn't care about the Thieves Guild. Yeah, yeah same. I really wouldn't care. Uh, I, I would join Mule in slaughtering them all. After that, I'd probably say Dark Brotherhood. And then the Mage's College. Oh yeah, you know what was great about that 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 thieves there there the thieves quest right there right there. You know whenever you collect those stones. Oh that, yeah, that the make stones that of worthless. The, which by ass the way requires crown. you to dabble into every single quest line. Which on one hand, most people are going to do on their first playthrough anyway. But people were just doing trying to do a fucking pure. And some of run. them are hidden in the most bullshit ass locations. Yeah. I like, I collected all of them. God and there's no quest markers! There's no the fucking quest. Yeah, I did it. And you can it. miss them. Yeah. It is straight up, it yep. is able to soft lock, no, to hard lock yourself out of that quest line by missing one. So. Yep. So fucking annoying. I hate those stupid things. I hate them so much. Aren't they required to get the uh, restore that these go to their former glory trophy? Yes. That is the single most. Und- that was the. Tro- I think that's everyone's last trophy in Skyrim for the platinum because it takes that would so be my fucking first long. Ever bothered to platinum? No, my no. first. No, no, you would not. You would not be your first one because you know how you get the restore the thieves guild to its former glory. Yeah, beat all the quest line, get all the artifacts, get all the stones, but are, and then complete ten thief quests in every hold. Never mind. And they're given to you this, randomly. This, this right yep. here. This is why I don't And like that is them. that is why it took me a, a long while it's to plat That actually forever. wasn't my last trophy. My forever. last trophy was get 100,000 gold. Really? Cuz I just kept spending it on everything. Oh, okay. I was like, you were in the thieves guild. How are you not just getting money <laughs> upon money upon money? That I kept spending it on buying materials. Ah. Uh, of course I always say like a warrior rogue or mage very clearly I'm the warrior Ryan is the mage and and Kodig is the rogue. But when you play Skyrim, you're never just a pure build. <laughs> Which, on one hand, is neat. On the other hand, it's kind of weird that you're never hindered in any way. Yeah. Like, you can be full Daedric plate mail, sneaking like a ghost and through an entire thing. fireballs like a bad ass. And having no issues. And having no issues. And it's like... A little weird. It's a little, it's a little weird. It's a little, it's a little off-putting. Yeah, that would be the one downside I have towards Skyrim. You know what's funny about that? Um, I've never actually done a rogue playthrough of Skyrim. I have beaten no. Skyrim. Because you've seen the like me- seventeen. Because you've seen the, you've seen you've seen the meme about okay, I'm going to be a warrior this time. Ends up as a sneaking rogue. Damn it. Yeah, I've never been a I've sneaking ne- rogue. I've never had that issue i've been a sneaking no. rogue before i've never had the issue of being i always default to a sneaky character no i've never had that dude issue. i shit you not my no, I'll first walk, I'll walk into a place i shit like you not i time. didn't even use the bow for my first like 12 playthroughs i had never used the bow unless i was attacking a dragon in the sky that's why i always come and then the damage was just garbage because i didn't sink any fucking points into it so i was like well, fuck this. I'm just going to well, wait till he comes down and swing my swords at it. That's why it's always nice for Frandall. The, one of the first uh, NPCs you can come across who can be a companion can train you up to level 50 in archery. Yeah. So it's really easy. Get so, actually decent skills in archery. It's a great It's a great way to get a jump start. Free, mostly. Uh, a jump start. Oh, it's entirely free. Because if you make him your companion and then ask him to train you, you can then go into his... Im- you can trade with him and take your gold back from his inventory. It, <laughs> yeah. is, enti- it is completely as free. As long as you have the money to begin with, you're good. Yeah. Exactly. And then you can t- you can get his house key and go to his house and pawn all of his things for money. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> Fandel completely destitute. <laughs> and then marry the girl he was going after just to really flex on him. <laughs> so let's talk about expectations, shall we? Well, let's let's briefly talk about ESO. Let's very briefly talk about it. I don't know if Cody ever played it. Let's talk about Dragonborn because you haven't gotten to that DLC. Well, the Dragonborn it, Dragonborn DLC is neat. I like the shouts in it. Uh. I hate, I hate the island. I hate exploring the island. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I like storyline. I hate exploring the island. I hate going to that plane of oblivion with the of uh, Hermes Mora. Hermes Mora. I, I hate going through it. Monster place. I love the skull. I love, love the, the Nords. Skull. Skull I think it's great. I I like the kind of the the uh, game of politics you have to play with the dark elves initially until you uncover the conspiracy and how like oh you oh you actually give a fuck okay. Please, for the love of for the love of the Adra, help us. Help. Yeah. Uh, Do so ESO. your job. ESO. ESO. Um, tried it. Joined the Ebon Heart Pact. Picked a Nord. I do, I I heard some people complaining that that your race locks your allegiance. Why the fuck wouldn't it? 
Yeah. No fucking... No, no one in the Emerald Isle, wherever the fuck that uh, alliance packed, would ever believe a Nord would fight for that. <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever, for any reason. So, also the Khajiit joining the uh, the the Wood Elves and the High Elves a little weird, but I guess they couldn't quite put them anywhere else. <laughs> the Khajiit can't really. Well, the, they're not the, really alliance. The thing is, it was three, three, and three. So the Nords, Argonians, and Dark Elves have a long history of working together, and then you put the. The Bretons, the Bretons, and the in the Imperials, and no, not the Imperials. It was the the Bretons, the um, Orcs, the and, Orcs, and, and the Red Guards. Yeah, kind of the uh, the trio of outcasts. The trio of outcasts who just kind of, and then the Wood Elves, the High Elves, and then the Khajiits. Yeah, because they're all technically mer. Do you? I'm sorry. Do you know where elsewhere is on the map? Yeah, it's kind of and where the em- and where and where the shimmering isles are, uh, no, literally, literally the cl- the closest places to them is the Ebonheart Pact. Yeah. So the which, fact that they which joined begs the question of how did the Kiji a how how did the Kiji think this was a good idea and b, um, how do you get supplies to each other? You don't. How does alliance work? I, it, it, they live in a jungle slash desert. That's the weird part about elsewhere. Half of it is an inhospitable desert. The other half is an inhospitable jungle. <laughs> Sucks. The only place worse to live is Black Marsh. It's the biggest fucking swamp. Sucks. Yep. It's it's just so. Of course, you think the mountains of Skyrim are insane? Fucking Hammerfell, dude. <laughs> So let's move on to the well, expectations. Well, e- no, we didn't really talk about it yet, so that's the thing. Yourself. You don't I, really need to. I loved the flavor. It's bad. And I love the aesthetics. I liked the fact that you could have race-specific designs, designs of armors armor. and weapons. That was, was neat. Dope. I liked that. I liked the characters. The part I loved being able to play with friends. The part that drags it down is the crafting system that takes hours to learn. Not to craft to learn Learn. crafting and then all the time it takes like the the aspects the mmo aspects are what drag it down it makes it so annoying to just simply try to enjoy a game it's like i want to be a smith like i always am in any other Elder scrolls game oh well prepare to sink three weeks into Into just waiting time into just waiting wait because i said so wanting yes it's the worst. I literally got to the point where I was like, all right, I'll log on, do crafting, leave, and come back tomorrow. And eventually one day I just never logged back on, and I haven't since. Because yeah. it's like, I hate doing nothing. I hate logging onto a game and doing literally nothing. Well, you could go out and grind and do other things. I was like, fuck you. No, I want my armor first. Like, oh, it's an MMO. You can just get, you can just loot stuff. No, I want my armor to be my Nord armor. I want to go out, be a proud Nord, and fight for the Ebonheart Pact. I don't want to run around and just pilfer things off the dead. I am a proud Nord. I am a smith, goddammit. <laughs> so. Tell us, take you. <laughs> and for me, the problem with, with the ESO was it came back to the MMO aspects of... Stop. No. It, it's just, it was the same MMO ask. I, I have I have to deal with other people. I can't just play with just Aaron or just Coding. I like these two assholes. Mm. I don't care about the rest of you assholes. Yep. Go away. Yep. Get out of my game. Mm-hmm. Leave me alone to quest in peace. Yeah. Yeah, that's always one of the big things when it comes to those MMOs is having to deal with other players. Also, there was the unfortunate side effect of the only group that I actually found myself largely agreeing with become the Thalmor, and I hate the Thalmor. Yeah, that sucks. Like, I actually like um, Ayla. I think she is awesome. I think she is amazing and rad as hell, and I wished her policies and what she was trying to do actually stuck, but it doesn't. Sad. So why would I sink so many hours into playing for a queen I know is going to fun- fundamentally ultimately fail because cultists fall more. Yep. So expectations. Also, working on it right now. also so expectations for uh, Elder Scrolls Six. We don't quite know 
where the next game I is. I have a few theories. It could be Hammerfell. It could be uh, High Rock. It could be. It could be in Cyrodiil again. It's really can't tell their theories. I, everyone has their own ideas. I don't personally care I where it's, it's going to take place. I really don't personally care. Here's what I want. Matter. I want Elder Scrolls Six to take place in. Here's what Tamriel. I. Here's what I. Tamriel. Tamriel. That's the name of the. The continent. I know it's the Everything fucking name of the continent. Tamriel. I want it to take place in Tamriel. No. I want the whole ass map. Then play ESO. No, oh, fuck ESO. ESO is trash. That's the problem. I don't want a map that fucking big. I want a um, map that fucking big. No, because if you have a map that fucking big, you're going to have the issues of... Skyrim was already a big map, and there was so much to do in it that you got that there, you, you lost content. Trying to make a map as big as fucking Tamriel without squashing every single individual continent to tiny size... No. Or to make each one even half the size of Skyrim... That's too much. It's That's too much. way too much. There, you will get. You will have no direction. You will have no idea what the fuck's going on. There will be too many, too many things, too many ideas. I like the single. A large map is wasted if it does not a have a good, viable, easy means of traversing it, or b is filled with enough content to make the traversal feel like an epic adventure. I like the single content continent adventures because it allows you to have a realistic esque kind of hero. You're realistically not going to get a hero of Tamriel who traips across it's every too single continent. Big of a continent, it's too big of a world to be that renowned by everyone would be absolutely ridiculous. The idea that you're that you're that well known is just it's mind-boggling. It, 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 it breaks. It hurts my brain trying to figure out how that could possibly be, be true. Um, a, con- a single continent, however, the each continent. A single have continent. Their... Country. Country. A single country, however, each of these countries has their own culture, their own myths and legends, and their own myths, yeah. myths <laughs> and legends and Think... aspiring ideals. Thing is, I could see I could see a way a continent could have one person have renown, if it's something like, you know, the Inquisitor from Dragon Age, or even the hero the hero of Ferelden. Just or, have that or, story. Or, or Shepard. Which makes you, which is not even just one continent. It's the it's the fucking galaxy. <laughs> which means the Dragonborn could, but within the world state and lore of Elder Scrolls, there's really no other entity. Besides being a literal ruler of a country, because Dragonborn is really the only hero of legend that would actually travel, and even then, the Dragonborn is really only a Nord. Yeah, the dra- hero. That's the thing is the, the the way Elder Scrolls is mapped out. No, the, the reason Dragonborn the reason why I the reason why I say the Dragonborn would work is because the Dragonborn is only can permanently kill dragons. So the fact of Dragonborn yeah, kill dragons, stops Alduin, goes to other places, kills, kills more dragons. dragons. All they do is kill one. And that that alone is kind of a big deal because no one else can manage that. So expectations for what I would want, honestly, I had no expectations for the next game because every Elder Scrolls game, on if you if you look at them, every single one is so different than the other ones. They have the base core of it's an RPG, it's open world. Even technically the first one because it was like procedurally generated. It was interesting. Look up the original Elder Scrolls. It was interesting. Um, first couple actually. Well, Daggerfell was more the, garbage. No, the, da- the thing with Daggerfell was it had six different endings, and each of them was a dra- was a dragon point, which is a thing that basically these were six alternate timelines that you could slip through using a drag uh, using a dragon point. That's actually technically what happened to Alduin. Is the Elder the Elder Scroll opened a dragon point and sent he, him he through him into the future? Yeah, that's actually what happened. Um, they haven't used that idea since, <laughs> uh, which I understand multiple endings are kind of because they're all canon all Daggerfell endings are canon technically because of the dragon points yeah because time broke and Akatosh went a little crazy yeah uh what would I want a game like Skyrim the leveling system a little more polished to make it so you don't have worthless 
skill trees. <laughs> uh, good romance. Solid, solid. Give me some solid romance in my Elder I would Scrolls be, game. I would be fine with limiting the number of potential marriage partners. Oh yeah, no. If give they me, made the yeah the exactly. Actual, like actual. if if you if you wooed them, like it's, it's not just hey, I have an amulet of of Mara. Do you want to get see married? You are yeah. interested in banging. I am also interested in banging. Which by the way, let us bang. Which by the way, we'll bang. Okay. Good, good on them. That's the best. That's the best way to be in a dating pool. Wear an name in Amara. Go out. Look for people who are also wearing an Amara, so you know who's available. Why don't we do this in the real world? Right, gone. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know technically the Amy and Amara is people who want to get married, but it's not technically the end goal of dating. Yeah, right. Anyone who um, says no, you have issues. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, yeah, what I would a want better is romance better romance. Great. I would want it to work. This is gonna be this is gonna be, I want it to kind of work like Rockstar, like a Rockstar game, like GTA in Red Dead, where you have a main, a single player story. And then have a secondary game mode, which is multiplayer. multiplayer. That's what I would want. Just multiplayer, not not necessarily ESO. I don't want an MMO. No, I just want, I, I just want multiplayer with my, with my friends. And have I want a gaming play with with Aaron and a gaming play with Cody. And, and have an actual only those two. And have an actual story, not like not like Rockstar or freaking. Uh, no, not, not not like GTA Online or Red Dead Online, where you have like maybe five missions that actually have a story to them, and everything else just <clears throat> no. Give me actual story because that's what we care about. That's what we want. And the thing that really pisses me off about those Rockstar games is the story they have written is actually pretty good. Yeah. And then they just and don't they finish just it. They have money. Stop. They have the fucking money too. Bitches. Can we finish that story at some point, please? I would like to get back to my quest for revenge. On the people that threw me in jail for no reason. <laughs> right. We did. Yeah. That was that was thing. Yeah, we murdered them. We did. No, not all of them. That last story mission, that was the end. Not all of them. No, what you, what you did we was We killed like two, maybe. No, we killed we killed 3 out of the 4 and we left the fourth one a widow. Well, she's not dead. There's a problem no. here. No, that's fine, because you know what? Remember, this wasn't our thing. This was theirs. Yeah, they falsely accused us, but this was the woman who's like, my husband was murdered, and I was cheated. So you were going to kill everyone involved. So whenever she got away, she's like, I'm satisfied with leaving her as she left me. A widow with nothing. True enough, right? Fine. I but... still wanted to shoot her, but... <laughs> But we've been uh, rambling on for quite a while. So. Well, that's kind of the whole point of the series. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, ram- rambling and on for quite a while. But so uh, no, no, ex- no expectations. I don't have high. I, I don't have low. I have no expectations. I have a few expectations because there's been an underlining story going into these games that not a lot of people have noticed. Isn't technically the lore? Isn't the story finished technically? Because like you had that prophecy about like. Uh, when when the Red Mountain explodes, when the blood of kings is over, when the when yeah, when yeah, yeah, yeah. when brothers of Skyrim spill each other's blood. Yeah, there's that prophecy, and there's and everyone kind of the prophecy. Well, now the story is finished. Well, if you look underneath all at all, the fall more behind a lot of the stuff going on. They have been trying and engineering to cause their their end goal um as that deal the. Um, Oblivion Crisis got rid of the Dragonborn upon the... So I'm kind of hoping the sixth game just kind of lets us take on the Thalmor. Um, the Citadel. Uh, the, the White Tower. The White Tower is no longer working. Or if it is working, no one knows how well it's going to keep working. That's the thing. Is there's, um, there, are, there are pillars that separate the Aedra and the Daedra from, from, m- from, 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 from Nern. They, 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 they basically bind Nern and make it ordered and not chaotic yeah, the thalmor are trying to break down those pillars so they'll come smashing back together and so they can ascend back into gods which all that's gonna happen is they're gonna become the bitches of the daedra <laughs> yeah because they're fucking morons um which by the way i do like the fact that the daedra not all of them are just fucking demonic assholes some of them are actually pretty one of them is just straight up good one of them is a straight up great uh woman and, and then, a like, couple of them are is... a couple of them are pretty neutral. Like Hirsing, he's pretty neutral. He just likes good hunters. He doesn't really 
care about being You have evil. some that are straight up, well, I, I guess noc Nocturne. Noc 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 Nocturne? Yeah. Nocturne? Nocturne. She's pretty neutral. She's pretty and neutral. Then you have some that are just straight up evil, like like Mogball. Like, 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 like Mogball. Like mog 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 <laughs> Sithis. Sithis is vile. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then you have, like, uh, what's her face with the light in the undead? Meridia? Yeah. The good one? And then you have the fucker. I, Azura. I thought Meridia was an Aedra. Nope. Meridia's an Aedra. But there's a Jubilant. Because it's the Daedric artifact. Jubilant? Jubilee? One with the, the uh, one with the uh, the Soul Stone that can be reusable. No, she's that's, also that's a Daedra. Azura. Azura. That's not Jubila. Jubilos is the chaotic, the Daedric Prince of Order, and he's the evil version of Shia Gorath. We want Shia Gorath. That's Jigalag. Yeah, we do not want Jigalag. Jigalag is evil. Shia Gorath is just crazy. And then you have Party Man. That's Shia Gorath. Yeah. Oh no, that, the guy, the, the um, revelry guy. Uh, what's his name? Reverly. He's just he's he got me really really drunk and I somehow ended up in Morthal. Anyways, that one time. That is going to do us for today. I have uh, not talked about what yeah, I thought. Will we can go more into it I, in a no, later conversation after after Elder Scrolls Six Shush. comes out. This can be extended. Shush no, now. no, we're gonna. We're gonna cut okay, it. We're gonna cut so, it here today. Kodig is very, very adamant on keeping these as close to an hour as possible. And yeah. I don't care. I only Here's allowed that to go past for MCU three because it's MCU. And I anyways, that's so going to do us for today. So there's what's been going. That's on. it. That's every, it. Every single game has sent right. around one of the towers. I will just flat out cut it and go to the fucking destroyed. exit, bro. I will um, just flat out cut all this. The Skyrim so, tower. So you're finally awake. Thank you.